Is the kitchen normally this filthy? The last couple of days, it's been uh, a lot going on. That is foul. With the kitchen in disarray, Chef Ramsay goes on the hunt to find out what is lurking below. Oh, my God. Oh, this is gross down here. Holy crap. Look at that, lamb bones. Just dumped in there like that. What is that? Chicken carcasses. Oh, my God. Have a look in there. Look at the state of what they're cooking out of. Have you any idea what's in what box, uh, what goes where? Over here, now you've got a little bag of uh, chicken carcasses. On this one here, you've got some raw chicken, cooked pork there. This is you with 30 years in the business. Yeah, hold on, it gets worse. I don't know what that is. Well, look at cheese or something, but what is that there? What is that? What, you lost the words? The place is a filthy mess. Look, what is that? Lamb bones? And who's organising this? You haven't got a head chef. Jimmy is my head chef. So we have a head chef. Before you weren't ready to confirm he was a head chef, all of a sudden we discover a mess down here. Now, he's appointed. Rico, why don't we just celebrate and just get out of this business? Why don't we what? It's like, I was talking to Rico. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with me? No. Excuse me, what do you think I'm doing? I mean, I, I'm trying... You're being, you're being a fucking asshole. This wasn't like this. Hold on it a wasn't minute. like this. I don't hold, run a kitchen like this. Hold on a minute. You're calling me a fucking asshole? I am. You stuck-up, precious little bitch. Let me tell you oh, something. Oh, boy. Here we you're go. Not, listen to me. I'm not going to listen to you. You're in denial. I'm not in denial. Yes, you are. I'm not in denial. Yes, you are. And you can't even I'm accept it. Fuck you. You'll walk out again. I am. Fuck you. There you go. Flip the bird. That's your attitude and that's your partner. I'm really sorry, but this wasn't like this before I got here. She's deluded that woman. You are insane. You are like... Yeah, blame me all you want. These excuses that you're insane. I'm insane. You're insane. You can't even admit you're the fucking, fucking truth. You're fucking insane. That refrigerator was not like that before you got here. And you're in denial. Flip out again. I would okay. never allow that refrigerator to and look like bones, that. And those bones, the mouldy lamb bones. I don't even perfect. talk to my staff like this. You're Why don't perfect. you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Want me to go? I would love you to go. I will go. Get the fuck out of my I restaurant, will go. please. You are so okay. in denial. Okay. You need therapy. You're a disgrace to this industry. Fuck you and get out of my restaurant. Are you still here? Not now, guys. Please, please, please. Fuck him. $10 tip. Yeah. That's nice for you. Of course, yeah. Why not? Do you think the girls deserve some tips tonight? No. They get hourly. And so do you think if I went and asked every customer when they leave a tip yeah. that it goes straight to the owner and not to the server, mm. do you think they'd be astounded? Let me ask that table there. Sir, the tip that you left, the young lady server, the owner takes the tips. That's horrible. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Don't no, no, fuck no. with me. Yeah, I will fuck with you. Yeah. Who the fuck you think you are? Oh, my God, Sammy's going to hurt him. I'm fed up. I'm getting sick and tired of your bullshit. Well, then fucking answer my question. Then fucking answer my question. Tell the customers they're going to get their tips. No, they don't. They should be told that you're taking them because this service deserves them. You want to speak with me? Yeah, I want to speak with you. You want to fuck with me? I will fuck with you. I don't want to fuck with you. Then I will fuck with you. Oh, my God, what a joke. Has everybody got his food? Yeah, we're closed. We're closing the kitchen. I think, Katie, you can go, for sure. I'm talking to you, Katie. OK. Katie, listen to me when I'm speaking to you. Do not walk away from me. You don't work here anymore, OK? Don't start crying. Don't why why no, are you behaving like this? No, no, oh, no, my no, God. Come on. Since no, I'm no, talking no, to you, I wasn't doing anything. Katie, I wasn't doing anything. You've had an attitude with me all night long, Katie. OK, please. OK, I quit. No, you're not. I quit. She is quitting. She has an attitude. She comes to the kitchen tonight. She's like, I set a table. She said, are you okay. sure? It's are you right. my boss? It's OK, it's OK. Katie, please. Go on. No, 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 come on. She doesn't work here anymore. She's a poisonous little viper, and I don't allow people to have an attitude in my restaurant. What does she know? Who the hell is she? She is gone. That's who she is. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Oh. Chef And that's my one meatball. This is your one meatball. Hey, sis. Thank you. That taste, 54 years old. Mush, disgusting, and just dreadful. Nino, come on. You rated the food on a 10. So far, what I've tasted, I'm embarrassed. That's too bad. The meatball, soggy, bland, and just hideous with the salty marinara sauce. It's a matter of taste. Say that again? It's a matter of taste. That's not a matter of taste. When was that made? Two days ago. Really? I saw him make it. Right. Can you have a word with the chef? I know you're scared of them, but ask I'm him. I'm not scared of them, and I'm not scared of you. What's that supposed to mean? You threatening me? 
I'm not a, I'm not a person that's scared, so don't use that word, please. I ask you to step up, take some form of responsibility, and go in there and ask him. So, are you going to let me continue eat, or do you want to? What do you want to fight? You want a confrontation? If we're talking about something physical can you, now. Can you leave me alone? Let me finish my lunch. Yes, I will. And if you find the balls to go and ask your chef when he made the meatballs, it'd be greatly appreciative. By the way, there's dirt little bottles above the fish tank. Wow. Valentina, when did you make those meatballs? That's how you eat. That's unbelievable. Friday. I find that hard to believe. Because today is Tuesday. That couldn't be. That couldn't possibly be. <sighs> thank you. And this is the... Uh... This is the eggplant? Wow. Thank you very much. You're good. He made them this weekend, on Friday. He made them on Friday? Yes, he did. And today's Tuesday? Yes, it is. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Unbelievable. We've been selling this sauce for 54 years. Yeah. And, and we couldn't possibly have this restaurant and have all the success if we didn't make a good sauce and a good meatball. You are in denial. No, <laughs> I'm not. Bullshitting me and blowing smoke up my ass, telling me working here eight hours a day cleaning. Telling me that food is great, people love it. I am shitting myself. But the then chef, you need to wear diapers. The, you shouldn't be shitting on yourself. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're just trying to act like a fucking idiot to make no, yourself I'm not. sound I'm better. I'm not a fucking idiot. Well, then stop sounding like you one. You sound like a it's... fucking idiot yourself. I sound like an idiot. You used the word fucking, yeah, so I brought I it do. back to you. Okay. I think that's right. that's kind we of gross. We need to calm hey. down. Unbelievable. Now I know the problem in this restaurant. Yeah. I'm staring at uh, it, and I'm, I'm staring at it as well. Be honest, I really don't know what's in Nino's head. Are we done? It's almost like he's completely mentally unstable. Oh my God. That's rule. Hey, how are you guys doing? I believe this may be rule. <laughs> What's wrong? Undercooked. Undercooked. Oh, mate, we're deep fat frying it. This can't be normal. They're surely to shed. I need an order of fried shrimp. This one was undercooked. What? Are you kidding me? David's lack of experience on the pass is resulting in lack of quality control. They wanted these two well done. Zap them. I'm fucking believing. Zap them. What's that? Four fuck ups already with them? I think it was a competition amongst the three owners to try and prove to Chef Ramsay that they knew what they were doing. And I felt Greg kind of felt out of his element because he's normally in the kitchen. I'll take this back and we'll do something about the muscles. Okay. We got sand in the muscles. There's supposed to be sand in the steamers. That's why they get a fucking bra. I don't know, guys. So people don't know what the fuck they're ordering. What are they ordering? David's definitely a know-it-all, and he can be a little rude. What table is that? Table eight. Thank you. Hi. You had the uh, clambic, and there was a problem with the muscles or the steamers? Both. They're terribly sand. Yeah, there should be sand in the steamer. There often is, and that's why you have the broth to dip them in. So what would you like instead of those? Uh, nothing. In fact, I'll just eat the lobster. I'm fine. Okay, it'll be right out. Uh, we just reprimanded. I do not think that Chef Ramsay likes David because Chef Ramsay has a bullshit detector, and David can be full of it sometimes. What happened? Thanks, Chef. No, they're done. They're done. Yeah, they just didn't like it. Jesus Christ. That's the funniest fish and chips I've ever seen in my life, you know that? What happened? I just smell inside there, mm. will you, please? Phil, two seconds. This smells all right to me. It's from the sink. What do you smell, Phil? It smells old. Why didn't they eat it? I don't know, Gordon. Yeah, do you ever ask yourself that question? I don't. I ask I suppose, myself that question all the time. I suppose you actually don't give a fuck, you know that? I do give a fuck, I've and you know I give a fuck. You seem a very relaxed man with your restaurant. What do you want me to do? I disagree. It doesn't smell bad to me, the fish. I've and just I... given a piece to your chef. Yeah. The piece was stinking. It wasn't stinking. You're blind, my friend. No. If you're not blind, you're fucking clueless. You know that. Now the owner said it's not stinking. It's fragrant, fresh, and perfect. That's why it came back, right? Massage his ego. Yes. Nothing labeled. Portions taken out. That's dreadful. Broccoli. Last night we ran out of vegetables because the chef can't be bothered to cook fresh broccoli. The reminiscence of Exxon Valdez. Oh my god. When was the last time the back of the fridge was clean? And you look at it. What is that in there? Oh my god almighty. That there was a clam. 
Oh, what a mess. The state of the fridge... Melissa, you got two minutes? ...has only confirmed Gordon's belief that the restaurant lacks true passion and leadership. So, you're in charge of the kitchen and the general hygiene? Yeah. Supposed to be, yes. <laughs> Why is it in a mess? Uh, it's 100 times cleaner than it was six months ago. Sure it was. OK. When was the last time you had a little wipe down there or...? Uh... In here? Just, just even... That a... I've never done. My God. Unbelievable. Oh, this is embarrassing. That oh. usually does clean that. Right, OK. Um, I'm glad you're starting to make excuses for it. Yep. If you thought this was bad, have a look at this. Chef Ramsay seemed to feel that I was making excuses for everything and really had no idea of the past practices that had gone on here. OK. Last night, we served frozen vegetables to a customer, and we got two boxes of broccoli there. You know, I can't do it all. That's it. You were happy to serve frozen broccoli over fresh broccoli. I'm trying to open up your eyes, Billy, and explain to you, you know, what the current situation is. When was the last time this fridge was cleaned? A week ago. Oh, come on. This hasn't been cleaned in years. No, 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 it hasn't. I'm sorry, 21 years in the business, I'll bet every fucking dollar I have, this fucking place hasn't been cleaned in years. I'm disgusted. Put your hand down there. He still never did bend down and touch it. It was a big thing of denial for him. I'll take responsibility for the fact that I haven't changed it, but it's not all my fault, you know? Everything's coming out, and this place is going to get cleaned. I wish you'd give me a little more credit for cleaning it up as much as I have so far. It looks 60, 70 percent times better than it used to look in here. Billy, that's disgusting. No, it's, it's, it's not fine. We've got a big problem. When was the last time that fridge was steam cleaned? I had the kid in there doing it last week. Did you check what he'd done? No, obviously not. So why can't you act like a man and do something about it? Yep. My God. I just don't even know what to say anymore. He just keeps tearing apart everything that wasn't done and not giving me credit or a uh, pat on the back for things that were done. What is that there? Chicken breast. Daniel. Yes. When was that cooked? Yeah. That was cooked yesterday. Jesus Christ. Doctor. Yes. I can't believe we're doing this. That was cooked last night. It looks like a giraffe's tongue. OK. It makes me feel validated, I guess, that the points that I've been making for months are the points that he's making now. Do you have a dog at home? Don't feed them that. Keone, just come over here. OK. Now, Keone, he's really getting me very upset. Suppose I punch him out. Because let me finish. He's right on. Let me finish, Keone. All he did, um, Keone, please be quiet. First of all, he wants us to cook everything fresh. Why can't you do that? You can't. Yes, you can. Jamaican food cannot be cooked fresh every day. Do you understand that? Mom, we'll finish this later. <sighs> what is that there? Oh, my god. You are kidding me. Bags everywhere. Christ almighty. Oh, please. What's that in the microwave? Rice. When was that cooked? Four days ago. When I first worked here, I was like, oh, no. Really? Bags? Come on. What's the addiction to bags? Is it a medical thing, like donating blood in bags? Or, uh, everything we've got is, like, in bags. Where do you want to put it, then? If you're now going to tell me that rice stays better in a bag inside the steamer, madam, I'm really sorry, but you've lost the plot. I don't like when you disrespect me. So if you can tell me where you think I've disrespected you. You told me that I was crazy upstairs. I'm, I'll tell you why. The practices and how you're running a restaurant is packed with stupidity. I didn't say that you are demented. Didn't say anything like that at all. No. You, you specifically okay. say like this. You're, That's what you okay. said to me. Right. Do you now, hear what I said? Let me finish. If I say that to you, how yes. would you feel? I'm not a delicate, dainty flower. It's going to take everything you say personally. But let me tell you something. The practices are ludicrous. Can I just show you something? Ready? No answer. Just, just feel that. It's frozen. It couldn't be fr well. Okay. It should, not, it, should, it should not be frozen. Okay. Well, it is frozen. No, no, no. No, don't tell me. Okay. No, okay. Let me, let me, another let show. Me, no, I've got to finish me. my sentence. Frozen 
solid, disgusting, overcooked chicken. You're resisting it. That's fine. No, no, no. I'm trying to say it should not be frozen if they did it right. yesterday. I understand. OK. But I've just told you it is. Right now, you're running a hospital kitchen full of bags. Fuck that. I'm out of here. He may say I'm crazy, but certain things he says about Jamaican food, I disagree with him. So I'm not crazy. I think the doctor needs a doctor.